I am completely short of words. This is not right. I am here to understand why all of this happened. This is so untimely. How could this happen now? I'm so sorry. Yes, one, wherever you are. I want you to know that here for you. I'll extend the same love you extended to me to your family. I promise to take care of them. Your wife and your little daughter Chelsea. They're going to be in my custody. I'll do everything in my power to make sure they never lack. I'll be there for them. This is my promise to you, Desmond.
Money state you are talking about love. We are talking money, we are talking love. How does that relate? You know what? Leave. I'll call you later so we talk about this thing.
know it's okay. It's okay. Don't, don't, don't sleep with me now. I'm money. Ah, go. You don't walk back. Go. Go. Desmond will leave me so soon. After our dreams and aspirations. Anita, can I really cope with this tragedy that befell me? Toby, I know it's not gonna be easy. But you just have to be strong for him and your daughter as well. The only son and should be God. I'm getting better. I miss him come so on, much. Come on, come off it, come off it, come off it. Are you gonna mourn him forever? You have to face yourself and face the future. Take care of yourself, take care of your daughter. By the way, how is your mother in law taking it? She's just there, looking up to God. By the way, I haven't seen Chelsea around, where is she? She went to school. Come on, drink it. to buy some ice cream for you. So why don't you go upstairs and change? When you come down, we can go get some ice cream. Yeah, I like it when she says that. <sighs> Chris, yeah. thank you so much for everything. Okay. I really appreciate it. No, you don't have to thank me. Everything is fine. That's fine. Okay. Hey, hey, there's something on your, on your hair. Thank you. <laughs> what strand is this? Let me just finish off. Just a strand. Hey, I hope I'm not interrupting anything. Hey, Jeff, what's up? Um, good. Hi. Uh, <laughs> not at all. You're not. Okay. <laughs> so, come on, come and sit down. Okay, thank um, you. Just sit down. Sorry, I was just supposed to be here. Ah, okay. Uh, so, what's going on? Nothing. Thank God you're here. Yeah. Chris wants to take my daughter and I out for ice cream. But since you're here, maybe you will join us. That's, that would be nice. <laughs> I mean, okay. everybody loves ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> All right, excuse me. Let me go check on my daughter. <laughs> What game are you playing? Turn around, this thing is so difficult. Stop, 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 what's the meaning of that? Who is talking about the game you're playing on your phone? I am talking about the game you're playing. I saw you. What? What was all those things you were doing? What did See, you say? You are lost in over your late friend's wife. Is that it? Jeff! 
What's wrong with you? I saw you. I know. Listen, whatever you do, just remember that my eyes are on you. Jeff, are you, are you all right? I'm very fine. Have you gone crazy? I'm good. Because today, you're removing something from the air. Only God knows what will happen tomorrow. I'm here. I'm sure this ice cream I'm going to buy it together. Let's go. So, Jeff, what's up? How's everything? Were you able to close the deal? Um, uh, yes. All oh, thanks to God, I did. Yeah. Oh, bro, I'm still not happy, man. Jeff, Jeff, I understand how you feel. But you must know that it will take a while before things get back to normal. I mean, Desmond is not around. Speaking about Desmond, I really do miss him. And I was thinking of going to see his family sometime this week. But um, unfortunately, I'm going to Abuja first thing in the morning tomorrow. Mm, that's true. That's true. Anyway, you represent us well. Right? Um, as for the family, I promised myself that I will uh, take care of them. You see, especially the wife. I will make sure I try my best and take care of her. Um, I'm not feeling very bad, man. I feel for that woman. But it's well. It's well. You see, I'm very, very happy you're thinking towards that direction because I know how serious you can be. <laughs> of course, I'm thinking towards that direction. I mean, in the absence of Desmond, I'll yeah. be realist. I mean, I'm, I'm his main G. But it's, it's all good, bro. It's just sad. I know. Um, hope you slept well. Yes. Um, actually, I got this for you. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's so thoughtful of you. Yeah, it's nothing. It's nothing. Thank you. It's I nothing. really appreciate Come this. Don't say this thing. I'm just presenting my late friend. Anything to make you smile. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, you're welcome. I you never are... knew my late husband had good friends. <sighs> now you know. <laughs> <laughs> that reminds me. What about Chris? Oh, Chris. You know, to see Chris these days will be very hard. Hmm? He's just busy running around. He's trying to prepare his wedding to Lucia. You know how the plans can be. Those two, they are so in love. They love each other so much. Really? I pray God will give me that kind of love. <laughs> Chris, bad <that> guy. <laughs> That's good news. Yeah, man. yeah. I'm happy you like it. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I'm sorry. Uh, I've been quite busy. Sorry, I haven't been around in a while. Yeah. Busy? I understand. Making preparations on settling down, it's not easy. I beg your pardon? Settling down? Who's settling down? <laughs> it's no longer in news. Oh, 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 I see. You're actually waiting to tell me at the right time, huh? Okay. I know I'm in a relationship, but trust me, I haven't even proposed yet. For real? Yes. I thought the marital process would soon be announced. Well, I thought it would happen soon, but the sudden demise of your late husband, Desmond, it's still a fresh wound that has to heal. I'm so sorry, I didn't mean to remind you of the past. It's okay. It's just that I miss this one so much. I know. But you have to stay strong, at least for your daughter Chelsea. You have to. Speaking about Chelsea, how is she? Oh, she's fine. She has been asking after you. She misses you a whole lot. <laughs> Come with you. <laughs> so, what do I offer you? Water is right. So, how is everything generally? Everything is fine. Thank God for everything. Okay, Jeff. Yes. There's something I've been meaning to ask you. Okay. Do you know who collected the autopsy report from the hospital? 
Why are you asking of me or tell me result of the sun? Well, Anita requested for it. But I can't seem to remember anything about it. Did she tell you why she wanted it? No. It's alright. So, how is Chelsea? She's good. Do you need anything? No. As if you can just let me know, okay? Should I offer you anything? No, no, no. 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 I won't take that. What is that thing? What is that thing? What is that thing about Chris? What does Debbie say? Eyes all those wild on Debbie? Eh? Our own late friend's wife. Because, because Desmond is dead. He's not using this as an avenue to choke this woman. No, Deborah, I will not allow this happen to you. No. You are my friend's wife. You are my late friend's wife. This morning, I will stand for you and make sure I save Deborah from this thing that is coming. came to give you a piece of information. As a matter of fact, has been bothering me. Yeah. Yes, I can't even sleep. Oh, you see, what yeah. is it? I think um, Chris and Debbie, they have something they are doing. I think they are dating. Dating? Yes. How is that possible? I saw them with my own eyes. The kind of mood that I saw, you know, the way they were falling on each other's body, smiling, touching. But I knew something is going on and it's pinning me. Ah. Debbie and Chris? Yes. But, but, but that's not possible. I, I'm telling you, it's very, very possible. Chris is a loyal friend. There's no way. But that's, that's why it's surprising me. Surprising me. I don't know why you would behave like that. See, Mama, I want you to go and pay them a visit. Yes. Really? Mm hmm. Yes. And my if you want to go, go in the morning because I am sure he sleeps there. He sleeps in my son's house. Exactly. So painful. I am definitely going there. Okay. Yes. Ah. I must catch them red handed. Yes, yes, Mama. Hey, Mama, please don't don't feel like I am giving this information just to cause trouble. It's <gasps> just that this one is my very good friend. I mean he was my good friend. For the fact that he is dead doesn't mean his wife will not be messing around. I owe my loyalty to him because he made me who I am today. I, I cannot stand and watch his family mess around. I can appreciate that. I understand. Oh my God, I can't believe this. No, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. And Chelsea is right there. That's the problem. It's the problem. To just be using maybe ice cream or this little little gift to blind the innocent I... girl. Do you understand? Uh, Mama, we, I, will, I will be on my No, way. please, please come in. No, no, I, no, no, I... no, 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 Mama, don't worry. I have a meeting. Uh, let me run along. Yeah? Thank you. Okay, yeah. Debbie and Chris in my son's house. This is ugly. <sighs> Baby, are you all right? I mean, you've been keeping mute all day. I mean, since the death of your friend Desmond, you haven't been yourself. 
Come on, talk to me. What is it? I'll be fine. I am. Um, I'm just short of words. This month was more than a friend to me. I know. I know. He was like a brother. He was everybody's friend. He was very kind and generous. Everyone liked him. Because he was always talking about God and helping people. My name is Chris. I'm new in this school, like I told you. Okay. But I, I, I'm stranded. As I speak with you, I don't have anywhere to go to. The hostel rooms are all occupied. I, I, the ones left are too expensive for me. Please, I don't know if you can help me. Can I follow you to your house? I don't mind walking for you, washing your clothes, your plates, so I can raise money to, you know, pay for my accommodation. Please. That's tough. Really tough. Why did you wait until now to look for accommodation? Um, bros, it's, 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 it's a long story. But it's, but it's if I try okay. to explain to you. It's okay. It's okay. I understand. I know how it feels. Um, like I said, my name is Desmond. Okay. I'm a 100 level bus admin. Oh, 100 level? Yes. Oh, me, me too. Same here. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Um, you will come with me to my house. I'll come with you. Uh, yes. I don't stay alone. Yes, I have a flatmate already. Okay. Yeah, but that's not going to be a problem. No, no, no. no. That's not, I don't have a problem yeah, with that. It's not going to be a problem. I, I will convince him and I'm sure he will like you. No, he will like me. Oh. Because I don't have any problem. I don't, I, I don't make trouble. I, I'm a very gentle man. But most importantly, you have to make me a promise that you won't make me regret this. No, but boss, I cannot make you regret it now. Are you not the one helping me? I have to appreciate everything you do for me. But, but bros, bros, see, you, you're, you're just like an angel sent to my life right now. Because I was stranded. I was just standing here. I don't even have anywhere to go to until you came. You're just like an angel to me now. You know it's rare to convince people this is. Yes, that, that's what I'm telling you. You're just like an angel. I cannot do anything to disappoint you. Trust me. See, I'm a very gentle man. I, I don't make trouble. Go into the camera's room. When a loved one leaves, it seems so Uh, yes, you're welcome to my house. Uh, Thank you. Yeah, this is where I stay. Come on, you don't need to thank me, all right? You see, in life, we have to be helpful. Nobody knows tomorrow. Who knows? I may need your help tomorrow. <laughs> so you're welcome. Ah! Ah! Jeff. Yeah, you're welcome. Yeah. Uh, um, Chris, this is my roommate I told you about. Okay. And, uh, Jeff, this yeah. is Chris. Oh, okay. And um, Chris is staying with us now. He was? He is staying with us now. He's living with us, actually. Yes. Nice to meet you, Jeff. Because I'm going to say that. No? Sure, we'll see. Just, just relax. Okay? Okay. Oh, 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 oh. What, 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 what was the meaning of that? What? Why would you bring a singer to the house? Why can't you just go out there, pick up somebody from the street and bring him to the house to, to live with us? For what now? That's too much of a risk. Listen to me, Jeff. Chris needed my help. And that 
this is exactly what I'm doing. Helping him. Do you know him before? What if he's a criminal? What if he's a kidnapper? Assassin? Murderer? Everything? Thief? You don't even know. Oh, you're, 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 just, you're looking because it's fair. Yeah, he might just be disguising. My brother, you need to wake up. Bro. You need to wake up. Can't we just bring, to, uh, bring somebody to the house Jeff, and like that? Jeff, Jeff, I understand all that. Huh? Alright? I understand all your points. I get it. But you know me. Mm. You know it's in my nature to help people. Mm. Helping people gives me joy. I can't just stand and watch such a young man suffer when I can actually help him. Yes, sir. As Jack Bauer now. Hmm? As Melin. Black Panther. In fact, let me hear you. Wakanda forever. You want to carry some... See, let this guy go back to the street. I know why I'm telling you this thing. Because you don't know him. You can't... This world you are living in is a very dangerous world. How can you bring this guy to the house? Jeff, you can call me whatever you like. But Chris stays. And that's final. Uh, yes. Uh, okay. No problem. When it will happen, do not say I did not say my own. Room. I don't talk when I'm finished. No problem. Come man. on. Loosen up, man. Loosen up. Listen, this world would be a better place if we can jointly help one another when need arises. Yeah. Don't be too stiff. Listen up. Alright? Be accommodating, man. Let's go. If your friend doesn't like me, it's fine. I I'll just go. I, I don't want to cause any trouble between two of you because I you have tried. You have tried for me. Listen, Chris. You have tried for me. Just calm down. All right. Jeff is not like that. Yes, he was bothered about something, not basically because you're here. All right. I don't like holding back when helping people. Okay. So just relax. Feel free. Oh, you are in your house now. Relax. But his attitude towards me, I, 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 I don't want to cause any trouble between two of you. No, no. If he doesn't want me, I can just go. You are not causing any trouble. Your presence here is very much welcomed. All right? Yeah. Yes. Have you eaten? I'm not hungry. I'm fine. Oh. Yes. Please, tell me whenever you need anything in this house. This is your house. Just feel free. You can use the kitchen. Use everywhere. Go to the fridge, we have food stuffs, prepare food, eat. This is your place. That's one. Yes. You're a nice guy, you. How? Huh. Thank you so much. I really do have I don't know how to thank you. You're welcome. Oh, thank You're you welcome. very much. Yeah. Just relax, thank okay? You. Just thank feel you. free. Feel I, free. I, I, I wanted to tell you something. Oh, uh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and remember I told you I couldn't make up for my accommodation. So I'm thinking, maybe you can have this one. Add it to the one you have, so you can pay for the rent, since I, I'm staying here with you now. Chris, did I ask you for any money? I did not. So relax, I've paid for the rent. Keep it to yourself. Ah, huh. Are you sure? Come on, just relax. Feel free, feel free. It's your house, relax. Okay. Um, but what the lab brother will not uh, <laughs> please. Can you just relax? Relax, bro. It's my crib. I call short here. Okay. Yes. Right. So just relax. Thank you. Yeah. Thank You're you welcome. Much. You're welcome Thank once you. again. Thank you. Alright. Oh. Death was untimely. I'm so sorry, Desmond. I'm sorry things turned out this way. But wherever you are, I want you to know that I'll always be here for you. I'll do everything in my power to take care of your family, to make sure they never lack, most especially your daughter. He loved her so much. I love her just like he loved her. Mm. I'll be a father to her. Rest in peace, my good friend. Rest in peace. It's well. It is well. I just want you to calm down. Oh. 
point. We have missed you. Huh? Why do I feel that you don't longer have time for us? Or is there something I've, I've done that you're not comfortable with? Uh, no, babe, come on. I've just been busy with work. And you know my business partner is no more, so things have been... I don't know. You mean Desmond? Yes, Desmond. He was very, very good in coming up with business ideas. And it's a bit difficult for me right now. I almost thought my company doesn't mean anything to you again. No, nothing changed. It's just that this one is no more. And things are a bit tough for me because, you know, like I said, he was very, very good with business. Marketing, business ideas and whatnot. I understand. I'll, I'll make it up to you, I promise you, okay? Thank God! Now I feel like a woman. <clears throat> So Jeff, what's up? How's everything? Were you able to close the deal? Um, uh, yes. All oh, thanks to God, I did. Uh, oh, bro, I'm still not happy, man. <laughs> Jeff, Jeff, I understand how you feel. But you must know that it will take a while before things get back to normal. I mean, Desmond is not around. Speaking about Desmond, I really do miss him. And I was thinking of going to see his family sometime this week. But um, unfortunately, I'm going to Abuja first thing in the morning tomorrow. Mm, that's true. That's true. Anyway, it represents us well. Mm -hmm. um, as for the family, I promised myself that I would uh, take care of them. You see, especially the wife. I will make sure I try my best and take care of her. Uh, I'm just feeling very bad, man. I feel for that one. But it's well. It's well. You see, I'm very, very happy you're thinking towards that direction because of course. I know how serious you can be. <laughs> of course, I'm thinking towards that direction. I mean, in the absence of Desmond, yeah. I'm the realist. I mean, I'm, I'm his main G. But it's okay. Of course, it's all good, bro. It's just sad. I know. It's alright. Yeah, um, what's up, Chris? Hi, Jeff, what's up? How? Now? Well, it's weekend, we can't do that now. Listen, I understand that this is weekend, but you see, we need to submit the report and um, it's based on the outcome of the meeting. Ah, uh, Jeff. Ah, uh, uh, Jeff, no, now, this... Okay, okay, that's fine. I'll just, I'll just walk towards it. It's okay, I'll be there, I'll be there. That's fine. Babe, what's up? I mean... Um, Jeff, Jeff just called me. Uh, my attention is needed. <laughs> it, it, it's actually a business meeting. I, I, I am supposed to be there, like, right now. But you're supposed to take me out. Babe, I know. I know. I just got the call now. It's not my fault. I just got the call now. Can I go with you? 
babe, you can't go with me because it's a business meeting. You're going to be bored. I guess. I just got the call now from Jeff. I, I wasn't planning to go to work today. It's okay. It's okay. It's always business, business, business. You never had time for me. You're supposed to take me out babe, and that. come on now. But I... Jeff, what's up? I'm here. Uh, I'm, I'm so sorry, bro. So, so, so sorry. Yes. But I'm here. You're not here. The warehouse is locked. I, I just got a call that um, um, Chelsea's in problem. Yes, she, she's in trouble. Uh, and Debbie's not at home. Yes. What? Chelsea? What happened? No, no, no. Listen, the associate said they were actually coming and they had a flat tire. So what I want you to do now is, one of us needs to go and pick the associate and the other will just go to Debbie's house. That's, that's what I'm trying to explain to you. Just, just calm down. Okay, okay, fine. You know what? Let me go and um, meet the associate, rectify their car problem, and I'll pick them straight to the office. I'll handle it. Just, just rush down to Debbie's house. Please, just make sure Chelsea is fine, okay? Oh, oh okay, okay. On my way, on my way. Sure. How's your mom? She went to the gym. She's not home? Mm. Uncle Dan, please come and help me with my assignment. Your assignment? Yes. Okay, that's fine. Hold on now. I need to make a call. Yeah. 
Hello? Hello? Hi, Jeff. What's up? I am here. I just saw Chelsea and she's perfectly alright. Debbie's not home. Oh, okay. Um, thank God she's good. What's going on? Okay, uh, what about our associate? Um, yes, yes. Um, as a matter of fact, we are together, but uh, you are trying to fix their car. Flat tire. Okay, um, why don't you call Tunde to get the mechanic to go assist them whilst I wait for Debbie to get back because Chelsea is the only person at home. Alright, alright, sure. I, I, I'll, do, I'll do just that. Um, please just wait for her to come back. Eh? Yes, Chelsea is the only one at home. She's by herself. So get Tunde to call the mechanic. Yes. And why don't you discuss business with them whilst I wait for Debbie to get back? All right. All right. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> wait for Debbie to come back. I'm too sorry, okay? I I've been quite busy. But let's go do a little more assignment now, all right? All right. Have you eaten? Yeah. What did you eat? Chelsea by herself. I was worried when I came and I saw her alone. She was actually sleeping when I left for the gym. Okay, that's fine. You look exhausted. Yeah, my leg hurt. I missed my step while walking out. How bad is it? Hmm? How bad is it? Terrible. Okay, I can help you. Romancing her body? No, 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 no. Right in front of your daughter? No, 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 I, I was helping her massage. She, she just came in with an injury, right? Mama, that's not... Mama, don't you... Mama, that... That's not... Is she serious right now? Hey Jeff, can you hear me? Now listen to me, there's fire on the mountain. Fire? Which mountain? Listen, if it's about the associate, I, I have sent the, I am the, the quotation to them. No, 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 I'm not talking about those people. Listen to me, Desmond's mom came to the house and saw me helping Debbie fix her leg. What? Are you serious? Listen, you know you're my guy, just tell me the truth. Were you, were you actually knocking her? No, 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 I, I can't do that now, you know me. Come on, don't pull up to me now. You did not come when they see you. Listen, just come to the house. Um, okay, okay. Uh, you, you, you are, you're in the house now? Yeah, just come to the house. Just come to the house straight. Right, I, I'll be on my way. 
Hey. Yes, that's it. Many an afflictions of the righteous, and the Lord delivers them all. So much trials, so much pain, but the Lord will bring joy again. Many an affliction. I said something was the matter. I had to leave everything I was doing to come here. This one's mother was here. Is she asking you to leave the house or give back this one's properties? No, far from it. That was it. She. she thinks I'm going out with Chris. Tell me, are you going out with Chris? Anita. I can't believe you're the one asking me this. You of all people shouldn't ask me such questions when you know virtually everything I do. Now tell me. Okay, this was what happened. I returned from the gym not quite long. Okay. I came back with swollen leg. Okay. And then Chris decided to massage it for me. Along the line, the mother bashed in on us. And next thing she started screaming. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> She started scream, screaming, accusing me of having something to do with Chris. <laughs> what funny? What's the meaning of this one now? Didn't you hear what I said? I heard you. The woman might be acting based on what her eyes fed her with at that moment. Listen, all you have to do is go back to her, talk sense into her, make her understand the situation of things when he, she came to the house. Is that okay? It's very simple. Okay. By the way, how's the how's the light? Still hot, man. Yeah. Hey, can you try this? Um, I I got to know about it when I came here. It's called a bonnie or something. It's a bonnie. It's my what? You try? Huh? It's gonna go next a day. A bonnie. Yeah, whatever. You tell me a bonnie. So you just try it. It's gonna work. Cut down. Cut down. Okay. Uh, what did you call it again? A bonnie. A bonnie. Okay. So, can I go back now? What are you doing here? What are you doing here? Ma, I, I, I came to correct the impression you have about Debbie and I. Honestly speaking, we don't have anything in common. Nothing sexual at all. And you came alone? Ma, I, I, I came to explain to you about what you saw. She came in right from the gym. She had an injury on her leg. I was just giving her a harmless massage, nothing more. Actually, you think you're talking to a big fool, right? I know what I saw. You were busy massaging her, and she was there enjoying it. Right in front of my granddaughter. No. What are you. You know what? You're done with the explanations. Please get out of my car. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. Are you still here? I, I, or I, are you deaf as well? I'm so sorry, madam. Please get out! What you saw was... Please, don't... I'm sorry. I, I, didn't, I didn't mean to upset you. Wait, Barrister, are you trying to say that the money is increasing? Yes, madam. Um, Mrs. Deborah hardly spends money on frivolities. Mm. I give it to her that she is a good woman. I don't mean to you know, pry into her affairs, but uh, something came up recently and I decided to find out if she's lavishing the money that her husband made for his daughter, my granddaughter. Madam, you have nothing absolutely to worry about. Like I said before, the account officer confirmed her prudence in finances. Hmm. Then why is she sleeping with him? Is everything okay, madam? Hmm? Is everything okay? Oh, sure, yeah. Perfect. <laughs> Have you come to tell us 
tell a different story from what your boyfriend said? Good day, Mama. And what is good about the day? Mama, what you saw was a coincidence. Yeah. I came back from the gym and I met Chris assisting my daughter with her assignment. And then I had a strain in my leg. He decided to help me. And that was when you entered. Oh, really? Oh. What a convenient story. Are you done with your ranting? Because if you're done, you can just leave my house before I do something I will regret. And for your information, my son's money is not to be lavished on that stupid he got of yours that, that spends his time trying to, to, to handle your high libido. Believe me, Mama. You should be able to know what I'm capable of doing. Even if I want to be married, it cannot be without your consent and blessings. Chris is a nice guy that values his relationship with my late husband. And he cares for my daughter Chelsea, your granddaughter. You just mentioned one good name, and that is Chelsea. And you know what? I would appreciate it if you could bring her to spend the weekend with me. Instead of staying in that house and watching you and Chris tango. How oh, disgusting. Believe me, Mama. Are you going to bring her or not? Uh-oh. Oh, or should I come and pick her myself? Okay. I will bring her over the weekend. Good. And thank you. I'm done with you. See, I was busy. When they told me so, I was okay. Are you still here? Get out. Get out and shut the door after you. You need to control that backside. baby. I tried convincing her, but she really thought I disappointed her. Did you go with Chelsea? No, I went alone. I couldn't face being humiliated again in the presence of the only child I live for. You should have gone with Chelsea. Your mother-in-law, I know, wouldn't have humiliated you in front of Chelsea. Okay, what do you propose? This time around, you have to go back with Chelsea and find out if it's wrong for you to remarry. Of course, I can be married after morning. It's just that it's going to be difficult for me to make choice here because Desmond was one of its kind. He's incomparable. I know all about that, Terry. But you never can tell. You just have to be on the same page with her. Okay? It's all right. Let's go in and have lunch. I doubt if I will join you today. I have a whole lot of work to do at the office. I insist. But I'm on a drink. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just okay. Sorry. Listen, Daddy, I know you're young and vibrant. I would probably want to remarry, but you need to first of all know your husband. Then you can get along with your life. Mama, I am not thinking of remarrying. But if I do, I will let you know. Chris is a nice family friend. Though every woman would want to be with him. Exactly. Exactly my thoughts. But like I said, I'm not against you, Emma. But you need to be careful. And make sure that whomever you marry takes care of you and my going to you. But Chelsea is a symbol of my happiness. I don't joke with her. And um, secondly, the second note, um, I would love Chelsea to come and spend the weekend. Mommy, I'll stay with Grandma. That is good. Don't so worry. I would have found your Grandma. I'll take you to different places. <laughs> Mommy, your uncle Chris take me out from school. Does he take her out? Yes, he is fond of her. He does her assignments, 
he drops and picks her up from school. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we have a weekend together. guy. He cares for you. Chris has filled a certain void in Chelsea's life. I appreciate him. I am happy to have him around. I think he likes you. As well as Jeff. If you asked to make a choice, who would you choose amongst them? Anita! Hmm? Why would you ask me such a question? I will choose none of them. Come on, baby girl. This is the time for you to make drastic moves. You never can tell. Then you find out his reason for always coming around you. I hope you're right, though. Sure. But I will try. Oh, that's my baby girl. He will <laughs> finally summon in courage. And it's hard to... Hi, Debbie. What? Are you alright? Okay, I'll be I'll be there right now. On my way, on my way. I'll see you shortly. Okay. Please. Debbie, what's going on? Debbie just called. I think she's in distress. Something is wrong. She's sounding very worried. I'll see you shortly, okay? my obligation to take you to the hospital, alright? So don't stop me, please. Okay, can you get up? Hello? Hello? Alright, let's, let's just go so I'll take you to the car. Get up. I mean, the, the, the sickness, I hope it's not serious. 
Well, the doctor said um, she needs a lot of rest. Um, she's probably stressed with um, the thought of death mode or something. Well, that's true. But I know with time she'll be fine. I hope so. Hmm? Hey, let me even check how she's doing. So she's. Her laps are even cold. Though. And let me quickly get her something to eat. I'll be back. Just take care of her. Hmm? Yeah. All right. man Chris is there taking care of her as usual. Yeah? I don't understand what you mean by as usual. Chris never told me anything about hospital. I mean, you haven't even spoken. You serious? Uh, well, anyway, just you, you just need to be observant. Uh, it's not something I just I should tell you. It's not like I'm doing I don't know. I thought you uh, you should have you should have always uh, keep you informed in this kind of thing. It's just there, uh, nothing serious. Maybe you probably Massaging her, you know, in case of any issue, falling on each other. But it's, but it's nothing. I just say, uh, even why we would decide to go and buy this food, it's part of giving them privacy, you understand? But all the same, no problem, no problem. Um, I, on my way to get the food, I, I, I saw your girlfriend. Uh, so I just had to come along with her. Baby, how are you doing? I mean, Jeff told me you were very kind enough to bring her to the hospital. I hope she's recovering quick. No, she, she's, uh, she's fine. What's, what's really wrong with her? Um, she's okay. The doctor said um, she'll be fine. I, I'm so sorry I didn't get to tell you I was here. <laughs> it's okay. I mean, <laughs> it's good you take care of her. I'm fine, okay? I just need to be good, okay? I need to rush out. To do one or two, and I will get back to you. Okay, okay. Just, fine. just call me if you I'll need call me. You. All, right. All right. Okay. You be good. Mm -hmm. Talk to you later. Are you? Are you? Yes. All right. Take care of yourself. Thank you very much. Right, right. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I just saw. Her, so she said she wanted to come. So as I. So she's getting better. Now. Your, your girlfriend is troublesome. She insisted she was follow me. She wanted to see me. <laughs> That's your girl, man. Thank you so much, Chris. I don't know what I would have done without you guys. <laughs> That's okay. And you're very welcome. And enough of the compliments. I mean, that's one would do the same for me if he were to be alive. That's right, babes. We're here for you. Chris here is your superman. And I'm your superhero. That's right. You're ready, we can leave.
Are you alright? Are you doing better to tell me? Listen, I'm your man. I can't be telling you everything. Listen, this is one problem I have with you. I've told you countless number of times to stop keeping things to yourself. We're all in this house as brothers. Anything that bothers you bothers me. Now look at you, lying here sick. You didn't tell me. Eh? When you know you need a doctor. I have money for that. Come on, let's go to the hospital. You can't run like this. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Put on something, let's go to the hospital. Stand. said you need rest maximum rest all right so whatever activities it is should wait okay lectures should wait library everything should wait until you're fully recovered do you understand me uh, these are the drugs he, he listed out that you should get at the pharmacy the this month yeah these drugs are too expensive come on <laughs> The most important thing here is your health. Alright? Health is wealth. Don't worry. I will buy the drugs. Okay? Desmond, thank you so much. Oh. I don't know how to thank you for all these things you're your doing. Your health is the most important thing to me. And please don't try this next time. Tell me whenever you have issues. Alright? About anything. Just feel free and tell me. Right. Let's go to the pharmacy and get this. you to understand that everything I am doing right now, I'm doing it for Desmond. He was a good man to me. I promise to take care of his family. Please, I am so sorry. I really do not know what came over me. Debbie, I'm very sorry to tell you this. If that happens again, I'll have to stay away from you. I mean, you have to control yourself. If not for anyone, at least for your little daughter Chelsea. And you must know that we're living some parts of our life for this month. Please, do not stay away from us. I, I won't. Thank you. I won't. But if that happens again, I promise you I'll have to. I will try not to. Good. I'll take my leave now. Are you sure you are ready to keep your man? Yeah. Yes, of course. 
If you want to keep your man, I think I have a solution. I want you to go and see the late Desmond's mother. Uh, what am I supposed to tell her? Why am I seeing her? What should I tell her? Listen, if you go to her, hmm, tell her that her daughter-in-law is trying to take your man away from you. God forbid. Listen, calm down. Just tell her that her late son's wife wants to steal your joy. And you know the worst part of it that she is still mourning. Huh? I, I, I won't take that. It will not happen while I'm alive. I will not allow that woman to take away my man. Chris belongs to me. Chris is mine. I won't allow anybody to take Chris away from me. Do you know what? Consider it done. If that's a solution, it is done already. Yes, I'm that, going that, there. That's, just, just, just calm down. Maybe, maybe see all this vibration when you get there. You understand? Listen. You just, you just make sure you express your feelings to her. The way it's pulling inside of you. Give it to her like that. What have I done to deserve all of this? Ah, why, would, why would Chris treat me like this? Why? I don't know. I, don't know. I, can't, I, mean, I can't do that. You understand? But I am sure that that woman can remedy this, this situation. This is, this is bad. Eh? Express yourself to her. She should know. That her, her, her daughter in law that's still mourning wants to see you. Just job. imagine. Who does that? I'm telling you, who does that? Who does that? that? Who does that? I, I know what to do. Thank you very much, Jeff, no, 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 for no, no, everything. No, no, don't I don't appreciate it. Don't die for me. Don't die for me. Don't die for me. Just go straight away. In fact, as a matter of fact, let me drop you okay. at that junction so that you just go. Thank I don't you very want much. Thank that, you. Uh, it's me. You understand? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Who would I have done without you? Okay, oh, my God. Good day, my dear. Do I know you from somewhere? Not really, ma. I happen to know you through your late son, that's ma. And Chris's girlfriend. Oh, really? And how is Chris? How is he doing? Not well. In fact, that's the major reason why I came. I came here in respect of my relationship with Chris. Mama, Debbie is breaking my home. Debbie is breaking my home. The marriage plans I have with Chris is gradually turning into a joke. I need Debbie to stay away from my man. Mama, I need Debbie to stay away from my man. Otherwise, I might not be held responsible for any actions I take. Stay away. That young girl is unbeaten over your supposedly relationship with her feelings. You need to be careful. Over your life and Chelsea's, watch your back. Okay, Mama. I understand. I will curtail my meeting with him. But trust me when I say Lucia is not a problem. <laughs> okay? But please, don't let me doubt your innocence. I won't, Mama. So how is um, Chelsea, my granddaughter? How is she doing? She's doing fine. Good. Not back from school. Yet. Okay. <laughs> You're going to pick her, right? Yes, Mama. Okay. Thanks for coming. Girl, do you want anything? No, I'm fine. <laughs> you just sounded so urgent and I was wondering, hope everything is fine. Yes, everything is fine. As a matter of fact, I should be asking you if everything is fine. Uh, you know, everybody knows I'm a nice guy. Yes. I cannot see something going wrong and don't say something about it. Yeah. You know, I brought you here so that I can ask you as my friend's fiance, so to oh, say. Come on. <laughs> um, is there anything going on between you and Chris that I do know? Like a problem? No, I and Chris would doing just fine. We're fine, okay. Are you sure? Yes, except there's something you're not telling me. Uh, no, 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 not like, not like that. 
okay? It's just that there's something I am, I am suspecting. As a matter of fact, I've been observing it for long. Okay. I feel like Chris and Debbie are having something intimate. Chris, no. No, Chris cannot cheat on me with Debbie. No. But you, you are his friend. I can't believe you, you're saying this about your friend. Come on. Uh, yeah, that's, that's what I am saying. He's giving me room for concern. Because if they are seeing each other, that means I'll begin to take her as my person. I mean, it's because of the closeness that we have. That's why I'm even telling you. I appreciate the fact that you trust him. But the way those people used to play, sometimes you see them falling on each other's body. Sometimes you, you almost be as if they want to kiss. Yeah, 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 yes, I know what I'm saying. Sometimes you see them like, like they're swooshing. Ah, I, I can't even, there are some things I cannot say with my mouth. You understand? That's what I'm asking. You understand? No. <coughs> no, Chris, Chris, Chris cannot betray the love he has for me. Chris cannot betray the love he has for me, you know? No, Chris cannot cheat on me. No, he can't. Yeah, yeah he can't, he can't, can't. he can't. You understand? So I just like to tell you. Your love is the best. Are you sure he's really dating her? His best friend told me that. Base. Of late, Chris has been acting strange. And it's getting me worked up. I don't even know what to do anymore. Your and have you bothered talking to him best. about it? Like how uncomfortable you are with the relationship? No, I haven't. And that's because... That is because you have not even talked to Chris about it. Fisher! Men like Chris are hard to find. You and you're here nagging. I won't have Your any woman so take away my man. <laughs> Otherwise, this style would be too hot. Hey, listen, you don't know me. Oh. Not, it, it's not even a thing. Sure, wait. Ma <laughs> Calm down. Mm. You, you need to talk to Chris first before you make the time to quote for anybody. You I'm hear not, me? I'm not the one that made that video. Where? Did not talk to Chris. Talk to talk him. To Chris. Just talk to him, Nisha. Just talk first. You find out. I'm sure everything will be clear by the time you talk to him. You hear? Lucia. Please talk to him. Chris. Talk to him. Talk to him. Okay. Calm down. Your love is the best. <laughs> the way you find. You mean the world to me. Yeah. We're looking at 45 metric tons. We're doing CPU. So I'll just communicate the other way. Yes, I need to speak to you. Um, can I call you back, sir? I'll call you back shortly. Alright, thank you. Is everything okay? No! Chris, tell me what is going on between you and Debbie. What are you talking about? What has come over you? What do you mean? Are you cheating on me? Cheating on you? What What do you mean? What has come over you? Nothing has come over me. Chris, I just want to know, are you cheating on me with them? Baby, don't you love me again? I mean, you used to say... I, wait, 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 wait. I still love you. Nothing changed. What's going on? Freak. Oh, okay, okay. Listen to me. Listen to me. I made a promise to my late friend, Desmond, that I will take care of his family. And that is exactly what I am doing right now. Okay? Are you sure? I am sure. Nothing has changed. I am just fulfilling my promise to my late friend, Desmond. I promised him I will take care of his family, his wife, and his little daughter Chelsea. That is exactly what I am doing. I understand, baby. You, you know I've got feelings. Wait, oh, wait, wait. <laughs> Listen, wait. Calm down. I think what you need now is a cold glass of water. Let me go. Cold water. Please, can you get me a bottle of uh, the cold water? Yeah, cold water. Yeah. A bottle of water. Cold. Yeah. Thank you. It's not even nice and sweet. Okay, just calm down. You need, you need to drink some water. Alright. Oh! <laughs> what a surprise to have you here, Lucia. Please 
das jetzt? So, what do I offer you? Nothing. Actually, I just want to speak to you about something that has been bothering me. Okay, go ahead, you can talk to me. So, hi, it's Chris. 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 Well, that is actually the reason why I'm here. I don't know what part of it you don't understand that I don't like to share my man. I mean, you are a woman, you know what I'm trying to say. You know where I'm going to? Listen, Lucia. I don't know what you're talking about. Debbie, please. I don't want us to have problems. I don't want to come back and have this conversation with you again. Please and please, I'm begging you. Stay away from my man, Chris, my husband to be. Hmm. I did not stop somebody's own. Excuse me. Please shut the door behind you. Rubbish. Why does she think I have something to do with Chris? This is serious. Hey, babes. I'd like to find out something from you. Sure. What is it? It's about the death of your husband, Desmond. What killed him? What did the autopsy report say? I really do not know. But I think it was stress related. The report says gastric cancer or so. I, I, I think it was Desmond that overworked himself without checking himself properly. See the report? I don't have it. What's going on? Don't worry. In due time, you'll find out. I have my reasons. Anita. Anita. Yes? I don't know what you're thinking. If you're trying to find out who the killer is, just forget about it. My husband died of gastric cancer, so the autopsy report says. Well, if you say so, I'm not going to stop with my research. Okay? Um, why is Chelsea? She's not yet back from school. No, no, no. Okay. Maybe we'll do, we'll do the school lunch together today. Oh, yes. I, I've closed from work right now. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> no, let's, nice. let, let's give it like 15 nice. minutes. All right? Yeah, sure. Okay, good. Yeah. So how is everything generally? Everything is fine. Fine, but well. Okay, Jeff. Yes? There's something I've been meaning to ask you. Okay. Do you know who collected the autopsy report from the hospital? Why, why are you asking me the autopsy result all of a sudden? Well, I need to request it for it. But I can't seem to remember anything about it. Did she tell you why she wanted it? It's all right. So, how's Chelsea? She's good. Do you need anything? No. Just maybe. Should I offer you anything? No. My name is Peter. I'm here on official duty. I'd like to see late Mr. Desmond Williams' file. I'm interested in getting his autopsy report. Um, late Mr. Desmond Williams' file. That's correct. That report has actually been collected by a member of his family. Member of his family? Yes. Okay, thank you very much for your time, Dr. Please, all right. You're welcome. Yeah, come in. Uh, Anita! Good to see you. Please sit down. You're welcome. What a surprise. Thanks. I was at the hospital. And I was told that someone collected this month's autopsy. Are you with it? Can I have it? Autopsy. 
to report. I have forgotten about all of that. But come to think of it, what do you need to report for? Oh, for such purpose. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, I don't know where I kept it. Um, okay, you know what? I'll, I'll search for it and I'll get back to you. That's okay. When you lay your hands on it, just get back to me. All right, sure. Thank you very no much. No problem. Just um, have a nice day, okay? You too. Just leave me on. All right, take care. Okay, yeah. bye. Bye. question and I want you to answer me correctly. I'm here talking about my boyfriend misbehaving. You're here asking me questions and wanting me to answer. Obviously I'm in your classroom. Ask. You say you have not answered my question. Will you answer me or not? Okay, hey, just say, just say. Do you really love Chris? Are you serious? Listen. No. Because I cannot believe you of all people will ask me that question now. As in you just asked a very stupid question since I know you. How can you ask me if I love Chris? Yes, I do. I just want to be sure. Now that you are sure, listen, what is this? Just say it. I came here for you to help me. Stop messing up on my brain. You should inquire from him why he's too busy for you. Talk to him from your heart. If possible, tell him, let him know how uncomfortable you are with his recent attitude. Triple word, you have a point. Honestly, I have not spoken to him about this. Think how you. says he didn't even know about the inners oh, that's sad this one was that killers oh my god 
Thank you very much. This will really go a long way in my research. Anything for you, for family. Uh, it's, uh, no. it's all right. You have a lovely day. You too, man. We shockingly realized Mr. Desmond and Williams was arrested. I knew it! I knew it! But I'm just gonna fix the dots! What a shocking world, man. I think I have the report here, the original report, I suppose. Okay. Yeah, this is the original report. Go through it and you will, you will be able to fix the dots yourself. I was actually on my way out, but oh, it's fine. How are you? How have you fine, been? I'm fine, thank you. Oh, that's uh, okay. Chris, I was actually carrying out a research and, and I felt you'd be of help to me. Okay. Yeah, I can sign on your, your lead first, Desmond. Oh. Um, how are you finding business without him? <sighs> oh, what a question. Yeah, I would, um, I'll tell you the truth. It's not been easy. Trust me, it's not. Because Desmond was very, very good in the area of marketing yeah. and I am not yeah. so right now I'm finding it very difficult to connect with the clients yeah. you know to interact with them okay. in that aspect okay. but it's okay I'm trying I'm, I'm trying my best to, you that's know nice. yeah that's nice um sorry can I offer you something oh no I'm sorry I know, but I know I'm in a hurry but I can get you something I really do not remember anything. Not at all. Not at all. I, I think I remember something. That's my own. Sweetheart. Wakey, wakey. Wake up. It's morning. Good morning. Good morning. How was the night? Fine. Oh. Come on, baby. Let's go back to bed. I don't feel like going anywhere today. <laughs> no? Don't forget, you have to go to the office. So, come on. Stand up, let's go fresh now. Fresh. Hmm? Mm. Come on, stand up. Oh my god! <laughs> That's what I can remember for now. They have called you. Yes. Very well done. Thank you very much. Anita. I don't understand. What's going on? Just calm down. Like I told you. You'll find out my reason in due time. Okay? Just calm down. We are here together. Alright? Thank you. Welcome here. Hi, Chris. 
Oh, but you came unannounced. Oh, yeah. We're here for a few questioning. Oh, okay. That's right. Yeah, um, like, is there something we need to know about the night this man died? Yes. What exactly happened to that night? Um, we were all drinking. Yeah. Yeah. We were seated somewhere, drinking and, you know, talking as friends. Okay. We? How many of you? Um, myself, Desmond and Jeff, of course. Come on. Okay, like I said, we were, you know, seated and um, drinking, having fun. Talking business, basically. Uh, so, uh, a pretty girl walked in. Okay. And, um, myself and Desmond, we, 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 took a walk, you know, to talk about something very important. Desmond and I took a walk to talk business. And no, I didn't go with my drink. We left our drinks behind. Okay. Thank you very much once again for your time. You're welcome. Thank you very much. Thank you. Mr. Jeffrey, I'm so sorry for your loss. 
Um, here is the autopsy result. I need you to sign here, please. Is that all? That will be all. Thank you, Alright, have a nice day. Jeff, Desmond was nice to you. He gave you everything. He gave you shelter. He provided for you. He made you who you are. Everybody adored him. Enough, 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 enough. Yes, I deal with him. Was that your motive? No. Because you thought he looked down on you? This one took the only thing that matters to me. Debbie! You need to be first. This one took out of me. Damn! Ha! Oh, shit! Look at, look at your ass! Man, this ass is too big. You have a bright future behind you. From here, I can see my future. It's so Come on, stop that rubbish! Are you mad? Do I know you or do you know me? I'm sorry now. Why, why are you harsh? I just wanted to help you press this thing. This thing is too big. I mean, too, you don't have cancer of the eye. I was just joking. Come on. <laughs> just joking. Uh, my name is Jeff. What's your name? What's my business? Listen now, why are you getting angry? I mean, I just want to be your friend. I don't want to be your friend. Come on, come on. I mean, we're friends. I'm not eating you up now. Eh? Please, just tell me now. What's your name? My name is Jeff. I'm sorry for everything. Hmm? My name is Debbie. Debbie? Damn! Debbie? Uh, Debbie, what, what level are you? I'm in my finals. Really? That's nice. Like I said, I just want to be your friend. Eh? Please, can I have your number just so that I can call you once in Just a while. friends? Yes, just friends. Nothing more? Nothing more. Alright. Thank you. Please don't mind, don't mind my phone. Hello? Sorry. Okay, I'll save it. Alright. So sorry. Mm -hmm. I hope you're fine now, right? I'm good. So sorry. I, I'm sorry. This is really hot. Sorry. Mm. Oh. Um, you, you, you are fine now, right? Huh? Ah. This one. Is this you? <laughs> so sorry about your leg, okay? Thank you. So where are you headed now? I'm actually going home. I'm tired. I'm very hungry. Hungry? Mm -hmm. Alright, so let's just get to the canteen so I can get you something to eat. No. When I said I was hungry, I actually meant going home to prepare food. Ah, she's tired and she's hungry and now... Oh, I get it. Maybe you don't want your boyfriend to see us, right? <laughs> Apart from it, I don't have a boyfriend. Fine, then let's get to the canteen. Come on, I need more ham. Um, okay. Let's go. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to watch you eat. Hmm. 
Ah, baby. You're very beautiful. Um, baby. You look very beautiful. So charming and gorgeous. Oh my god, I I feel like kissing you right now. <laughs> Don't tell me, baby. Do you feel any any kind of connection between us? Um, okay. Yes, but I don't want to be in a relationship right now. Ah, why? You don't have to be so hard on yourself. Come on, loosen up a bit. Listen, I have this feeling. I have this inner feeling that we are divinely made for each other. Yeah. My heart is so fragile. And I don't want anyone to mess with it. Most guys don't know what it means for a woman to be secured. Oh, you're very secure in my arms, trust me. Okay, just some few minutes ago, you wanted to hurt yourself and I was there immediately for you. That simply means that you're secure in my arms, come on. I will think about it. You ain't thinking nothing, just say yes. No, I will think about Say it. Yes. <laughs> Say yes. Come on, stop it. <laughs> <laughs> so tell me more about you. Ah, this one, this one, this one, and that's it. <laughs> and myself. Honestly, honestly, so I got tired. I really had a lot of house shows in the house today. At the end of the day, I still got to school, and the lecturer took his time. Maybe it was like hell. We they wait, wait to make this man finish. You know, if you finish, he's there talk, they talk, they talk, they talk. And they. Baby. I've been gisting you for the past 15 minutes and. Baby, what's wrong? It's nothing. Come on, baby. You can't possibly say nothing when it's obvious you are bothered. Now, I don't want you to keep anything away from me. Tell me whatever it is. You can share your problems with me. That's why I'm here. Um. Um. Come on, baby. Come on, bring it on. Whatever it is, tell me. Um. Um. Come on. I'm pregnant. Um. Okay. Um, let me pretend like I didn't hear what you said. Ah, uh, so what did you say? Say your what? I'm pregnant. For real? I'm pregnant. Whoa! <laughs> yes! This is what I've ever wanted. You're pregnant? Hey, baby, tell me you're not kidding me. I'm serious, I'm pregnant. You're serious? Yes. Come here. <laughs> I'm so happy right now. I'm so very happy. I feel like I'm in the heavens right now. I bring you good news. Baby and I will be getting married soon. Huh? Yes. And let me shock you. She's pregnant right now. She's carrying my baby. <laughs> I feel like I'm in the heavens. I can't wait. I can't wait to carry my baby. Oh my God. Wow. <laughs> Wow, my brother. congratulations. So what you are trying to say now is that you want to get married to Debbie. Why? Okay. Eh? Do you know her that much to, to, to marry her? Why will you just marry Debbie? Marry her for what? You are my man, I will not deceive you. But, but, eh? yeah. No, 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 Chris, look at this thing very well. You want to marry her because she's pregnant. Debbie, pregnant. How are you sure you are, you are, you are, the, you are the person responsible for that pregnancy? Girl, 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 they have been sleeping around, that they have been lashing on the other house there. That was the one boy is lashing in that, in that, in that Jeff, 
Jeff, Jeff, Jeff, calm down now. You can't say a thing like that. I'm telling you the truth. No, 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 Jeff, listen, that's not a nice thing to say. I'm, 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 I'm just saying my own. That, that, that girl doesn't make any sense. What to bali, what to bali, what to bali. not that kind of... Abel, 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 Abel. Did you, did you hear him? Um, Desmond, listen. No, no, did you hear him? I heard him, but but I'm sorry. I'm really sorry about uh, Jeff. I'm sure he overreacted. But maybe he's, you know, trying to, you know. But, but how, how when, when is the wedding? Are you really sure about this? When are you, when are you doing the wedding? Um, yes, um, the wedding comes after our graduation. Yeah, like, okay. Hey, congrats, bro. Did you say she's pregnant? She is! She's pregnant right now. So you, you, you were in class and you're going to. <laughs> <laughs> My brother! Please, what do I offer you? I told you before, nothing. I'm fine. Uh, it's just that I came to quickly clarify something I heard from this man. You said people have decided to keep the pregnancy and that uh, you people want to get married. <laughs> yeah, I said I should ask you. Yes. You see, Jeff, Desmond is everything I've ever wanted. I love him. Ah. Yes. <laughs> that, that, that's a good thing. I mean, like you say, love is a beautiful thing. Uh, but if that's the only way you are dealing with the right person, uh, you have to be very sure. So I don't know, is it because you are pregnant? You know, there's a difference between pregnancy and marriage. So if it's because of the pregnancy you want to get married, you can decide to be baby mama. You don't go rush and that. You <laughs> understand? <laughs> Uh, as as you confirm. Uh, no. It's not because of that. I honestly do love him. And he loves me too. Uh, yes. I like the way you say he loves me, but are you really sure? You know, this love thing, you know, somebody might be saying one thing and doing the other <laughs> thing at the same time. Uh, but it's okay. It's okay. I wish you people all the best. <laughs> yes. It was just that I want you to slow down and uh, have a rethink. You know, this uh, nine months duration, you understand? <laughs> uh, don't rush into marriage like that. You understand? Thank you so much. Thank you for being such a good friend to me and my husband to be. Thank you. Uh, it's nothing. <laughs> That's what uh, friends do for friends. It's okay. Hi. Desmond, I am sorry. I want to say sorry for everything. Uh, I'm sorry for the way I spoke to you the other time. See, I just want the best for you, so uh, that was my sorry. This one, please forgive him. He's really sorry. No, it's fine. It's okay. Um, you know my guy now. Uh, you still be my guy. I understand you're looking out for a brother, but then you went overboard. But all the same, I forgive you. It's fine. The good thing is that her parents is now aware of it. Yeah? Yes. Did they accept? What did they say? Oh, come on. Her mom was just over the moon. She was so happy. She agreed to be a little bit too. And hey, she can't wait to carry her grandchild. Wow. Yes. <laughs> wow. But I don't understand. I don't, I don't get it. Like, she just agreed just like that? Of course. And she started wedding preparations. Why would she? I, I mean, no, I mean, without any further questions, she just agreed, just take my daughter like that. No, but, but, but Jeff, the mother was happy now to hear such. It's, it's good news. You know, I, I, I'm shocked. I mean, she was pregnant before we. I, I mean, I'm just. Ah, yes. Wow. I'm not happy now. Yeah, I'm happy. <laughs> no, I don't mean you. I mean the, the mom. She yeah. was happy. Yeah. I'm happy for you, man. Ah, thank you. Yeah, yeah. I expected to hear that from you. Yeah, man. yeah, yeah. Thank I like you. the way they accepted. <laughs> That's good, man. Thank you. <laughs> man. Hey, bro, just like that. So who is who is my best man? Who is my best man here? Yeah. <laughs> uh, I think you'll be the best man. I, I don't have a problem with that. I can be the best man, right? That's no problem. So uh, she did not even ask you any question. Oh, we're talking oh, about she... best man now. No, I'm just like yeah, that family. Go bless them. They didn't even ask any question. Like, they didn't if you see, sign and see you, bro. Yeah, I like that. Oh. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Our baby is calling daddy, daddy, daddy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they keep looking beautiful and charming every day. <laughs> even with this pregnancy. 
when Chris excused him to have a word with him privately, I slid something into his drink. your life in jail, animal. A date has been set for the court hearing. Anita, I don't think I want to be there. I can't take it at all. I think you should be there. I hope justice will be served. I hope so too. That's it. And how is Chelsea taking it? Oh, oh girl. She will be fine.
still can't believe Jeff killed my husband. I, I can't fix it. Jeff killed your husband. He claims he was envious of him. That your husband took you away from him. He said that. Yes, that you belong to him. Oh, I remember vividly when Jeff walked up to me. He told me he wanted us to be friends and nothing more. With what you just said now, I'm speechless. Men can be funny at times. How could he be dying in silence for six years, lusting after you? And the only way he could express his anger was to kill your husband? Oh my goodness. This is quite unbelievable. Honestly, I can't believe this. His close friend. He gave him shelter, made him who he is. The only way he could pay him back was to kill him. Jeff is a beast. I feel I could strangle him. Just calm down. The law is going to do that for you. Trust me. Just calm down. That fool was the imposter that came to destroy my family. Killed my son and accused you of having interest in Debbie. Ma'am, I... I am completely short of words. I honestly can't believe Jeff is responsible for Desmond's death. It's totally unbelievable. I still can't believe this. And I hope justice will be saved. Amen. He will have no peace. Never. Oh, Debbie. I know how you feel and um, I know this is a bad time for both of you but please I'm begging put yourselves together um, don't let this situation you know cause something else go try but it won't be easy I know dropped by the house the other day. <laughs> he's really having a hard time. And I think he's really affected with this whole Jeff issue. Don't know with time he'll get over it. I think he fancies you. What? You should give him a chance. <laughs> what do you think? No way. Mm -mm. He is just my friend. Besides, he has a girlfriend. Not anymore. They're broken Ooh. up. <laughs> Even at that. I still can't be with him. Oh well, let's see how it goes. I'm hungry right now. Let's get something to eat. So.
Hello. Hey. How are you? You okay? I came around to you guys then um, give her the gift I, I actually got for her, so what? What was that for? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Hello, Anita. Oh, God. Anita, I don't know what's wrong with me. Uh, yeah, I kissed Chris. Oh, my goodness. How did you feel? What was his reaction? I don't know. I, he, he just walked out angrily. I'm confused. No, you have not. This is game time. Trust me, he will come around. I understand human psychology when it comes to matters like this. Okay. Alright. I know you're not go. If you want your husband and baby girl, I'll talk to you later. I'm driving right now. Oh my goodness, she kissed him. I even do that. I like him. Hello? Hi, Debbie. Listen, I understand, okay? And I'm sorry about how I acted. I'm doing everything in my power to keep my promise, the promise I made to Desmond. Thank you. That's fine. All right. What are you doing here? Too much attention, and I wasn't getting it, it wasn't working. Please, don't come into my house. 
Hey, baby, baby. It doesn't have to just end yet. I used to be, you know. I'm sorry. Oh, Debbie, stop it! Your late husband was my good friend! Mommy. Yes, darling? Is Uncle Chris going to be my daddy? Why did you say that, sweetheart? Because I know you like him and I like him too. Oh. Okay. Would you want Uncle Chris to be your daddy? Yes. Hmm. Don't worry. Hmm? Let me finish your hair. Thank you, Mommy. Baby, I'm deeply sorry for everything I've heard. I just want you to forgive me. I am sorry. Babe. We don't have to go over this again. I keep telling you, you're stretching things for nothing. Come on. I know, that's because I love sorry, you. Sorry, excuse me. Hello? Hi, Debbie, how are you? How's Chelsea? You better drop the call and tell her you're busy with your girl. Uh, Debbie, can I call you? Pull over. Pull over, I'm really done with this sucker relationship. You cheating bastard! I'm fucking done with this relationship! Yo, you always speak daddy over me, you always choose her over me. You always choose daddy over me! I have to! I have to! <laughs> Fast, that's really so. Jeffrey, you killed your best friend just for you to have this woman, something that you can never have in this life. I don't know what came over me. I feel I was blinded by blinded by your greed. An unsustainable appetite for what you can never have, Jeffrey. I just wish I valued you. Maybe I wouldn't have been here. I still remembered how you chased me pants down. You were so convincing, Jeff. You promised me everything. What happened? What happened, Jeffrey? Hi, pretty Jeff. Good to see you again. Um, I'm happy. I don't know. <laughs> Anytime I see you, I just get so confused. It's a couple. Don't you do that again. Listen, I mean no harm. You've been doing this. I, listen, my... Don't, don't you ever touch me again. Oh, Mira, are you still going to stay and listen to this one? Yes, listen to what he has to say. What does he have to say? I already know what he has to say. Love, love, love. Listen, talking about love. I'm not joking when I said I love you. 
<laughs> the feelings I have for you is very strong. Just give me a chance to prove it, please. I can't even give you a second of my time. Excuse me. Mira, if you care to join me, let's go. Sorry about my friend, okay? She doesn't really believe in love and it has turned her into a nerd. It's okay, this but please, you need to help me. You know how I have been trying and trying to get her, okay? You just help me talk to her, please. I will try, but you have to promise me you're not to hit and run. Of course, if you look at me, you know I'm hit, hit and stay. <laughs> <laughs> please, just, just help me talk to her. Okay, just let me just All right. Oh, no, no, don't stress yourself. The sun is scorching. Why don't I just drop you drop. off? Drop. Don't, don't worry. Don't worry. Let me help you off. This girl now to just help me forget about them. Jane, Jane, uh, uh, what? What is Jane, Jane, Jane? What? What's your problem? Losing up a bit, uh, Mira. Why are you talking like as if you don't know how many heartbreak I've been through? Do you want my heart to get broken all over and over again? How would you know if your heart will get broken over and over again if you don't give somebody a chance? Mira, that guy looks like somebody that has an ulterior motive. Yes! How would you know if he has ulterior motive or interior motive? Give this guy a chance and see. <laughs> but Mira, I think I'm beginning to like... Do you see what no, I'm talking No, I'm not. I'm not beginning to like anything. You know what? I'm not. I even offered to give us a lift, eh? She's somebody who would have been inside the car now. Look at the soul. Ah, don't worry, okay? Very soon, we have our own car. You're not sure? So. Babe, don't be angry now. Leave Why are you vexing? Let's stay and look for a tax. Let's stay and look for a tax. Very you see soon. Give me joy. It's just a car. Mira, baby. I'm talking to you. Give this guy a chance. What is your problem, sir? I don't understand. Did this guy give you some money? I don't understand. Are you trying to say I collect bribes? Yes, because your attitude is I don't understand. What Why your head? Bribe. For what now? See, what I'm saying is the guy is a nice guy. He's a cool dude. Just give the guy a chance and see what's up. <laughs> a nice guy. And since when did you know that he's a nice guy? When? I don't understand. See, Mira, I'm just, I'm just trying to take things that. <coughs> See, he's working on me, draining my battery. Mira, I'm just trying to be careful. I don't even know this guy. How would you know him if you've not given him one chance? Don't you understand? I can't even give him a chance. Why? I don't want to get my heart broken. Yes, Mira, yes. Uh -uh. But the thing is, you wouldn't know. You wouldn't know if you don't try him out. <sighs> okay, one month. Just, okay, one month. Just one month. One month to do what? Just give him a chance now. Try him out for one month. <laughs> Mira. I'll try. I'll think about it. Hmm? I'll think about it. And then again, you should keep on trying. After all, I'm a fine girl now, so you should keep on chasing me. <laughs> Men are scarce, so you better give this guy a chance. <laughs> Men can never be too scarce for a beautiful girl like me. You think so? Mm hmm. Look at this one. Okay, Shall I just try the guy out? <laughs> See, he's calling again. <laughs> what do I tell him now? Let him keep calling. It's your phone. I, I don't know. Tell him anything. Yeah, I've been trying to talk to her, but the thing is, she's scared of getting her heart broken. Yeah, I will try, but you just have to promise me you're not going to, like, you know, fuck up because it's, I don't want it to be as if I talk to my friend and you just fucked everything up. Mm hmm. 
Okay, yeah, let's just give her some little time. <laughs> Alright then, no problem. I'll talk to you later. Mira, I'm beginning to wonder, this is your behavior. Are you sure you've not collected some money from that guy? And you, you know you like money, you this girl, you like money. See, I'm beginning to give you more time to think about it. See, the guy is a cool dude. Fine boy like that, huh? Fine boy like that. Don't worry, I'll really thank you. I'll think about it, okay? Hmm? I just allow me to concentrate on this book. Hmm? Very interesting. It's a good thing you're in here. Yes. Hey, madam, do fast. You have just five minutes. I don't even know why I believed you. You made me start a war with my doctor in law. You're a murderer. You killed him just because you wanted to get into Debbie's undies. I am sorry. It's the devil's work. Please help me. It's always the devil's work. Help me, he said. Help you do what? Help you kill more people? What would you expect me to help you with? For your information. I hope this makes you happy. I will give my consent and my blessing to Chris and Debbie. I will encourage them to get married. Yes. You can carry that information to hell. And you know what? This life is full I saw of Jeff mystery. And I felt pity for him. I hope he finds peace. It's okay to have mixed feelings. He was your friend. I just want to forget about it all. Please do. Oh. Get some water. Water. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, thank you. This is okay. Yeah. <laughs> right, wine? Thanks for being a nice friend. Thank you very much. Well, I think he's too happy to have red wine now, but I go for water. <laughs> okay. This life is full of mystery. This one, my beloved friend. It's been one year since you left us. I must say, life hasn't been the same. Continue to rest in peace. Continue to rest in the bosom of the Lord. We love you. At times it may be and I'm very sure God loves you more. But hold on, it's not yet the end. Good night, my friend. This life is not a bed of roses. It's, not, it's, not. it's been one year you left us. We miss you. And we love you. Hold on, hold on, hold on, it's not yet the end. Rest in peace, Desmond. Hold on, hold on. Why am I always thinking of Chris? Am I in love with him? Why does my everyday thought revolve around him? No, Debbie, don't fall this easy.
listen, so this is where you are. I've been looking for you all over. Chris is getting me angry. Chris hasn't apologized to me yet. And I'm not finding it funny. Apologize for what exactly? You are the same person that walked out on him. Lucia, look at you! Trying to allow a second-hand woman to take what belongs to Impossible. you. Impossible! Okay. I will not allow that happen. Do you know how much I've put into this relationship mm -hmm. and just watch it flow off the mud like that? Never. Mm -hmm. Never. Now you're talking like the Lucia that I know. Though so this is the right time for you to fight. You need to fight for this. You're not talking about fight, fight. You and I know I don't have power. Yeah? See? Is this what I will use to fight? It's talking about physical fight here. Lucia, you have to use your number six. Be calculating. I know you can do this. You can do this. Put one on one together and work it out. You see why you're very important in my life. That's why I always run to you. You can say that again. Oh my God, my food! Lucia! Jesus! Do not burn down this house for Christ's sake! Make up! Allow it to happen. Not in this country that men are scarce. The little one that I have, they want to still take it away from me. Who does that? Who does that? I won't. It won't happen. It's it's Baby, I am sorry. Please forgive me. I wasn't thinking. Oh, okay, wait, wait. Have you changed? Yes, I have. I have, honestly. I swear. Oh, you don't have to leave me. Listen. Promise me you're not going to act like a crazy person anymore. I won't. I promise, baby. I promise. I'll okay. Mommy will buy you ice cream. No, I want Uncle Chris. I will buy you ice cream. No, I want Uncle Chris. Ooh. <laughs> okay, I'll call him. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I'm waiting for the clients to transfer me. Once they make the transfer, I'll take you out. Where do you want to go? Mm. Me? Yeah. Are you saying Nigeria or outside this country? Because I really want to be in Dubai right now. Right? <laughs> okay, Dubai is fine. Hello, Chris. Hi, Debbie. I'm good. Yes. Chelsea said I should call you, that she wants to talk to you. Oh, okay. That's all right. Oh, okay. Uh, all right. Take. Hello, Uncle Chris. Hey, Chelsea. Where have you been? I'm missing you. Are you all right? How's school? Have you been doing your assignments correctly? That's my girl. Okay, I'll see you soon. Okay, Uncle Chris. Alright, dear. Bye. Alright, bye. Yeah. Are you happy now? Yes. So give mommy a peg. That was Chelsea. I miss her so much. So very much. Chelsea, you miss her or you miss her mother as well. Babe, what does that mean? Chris, I'm not stupid, okay? I know you've got feelings for this woman, Debbie. Why don't you just say it? You know what? I'm done.
Why can't he just love me? I've told you before. Don't let a random girl take your fiancé away from you. You know how desperate girls are these days. And don't forget that men are hard to find. But he's not helping matters. Maybe the problem is you. Maybe you have not tried fighting for this, Lucia. I cannot fight over him. I'm not asking you to fight physically. You need to wisen up. You need to open your eyes and play the game well. Own your relationship. I know you can do this. With him, we have to run more tests and observe him closely to determine the cause of the problem. Thank you very much, Doctor. Um, I'll instruct my nurse to run some PVC tests on him. You'll get the results soon. Thank you. You're welcome. Happy to I had the appetite to eat. Chris' health is giving me reasons to worry. Oh, that? God is in control. He, I know he will let us down. Not this time we're trying to breathe fresh air. What could be wrong with him? He always looks healthy. Baby, don't worry. You don't have to worry over it. He'll be fine, trust me. He'll be fine. Okay. I am worried. 
I don't want to lose him too. No, far from that. He's gonna be fine. Trust me. Okay? Eat your food. I Stop worrying yourself with via issues like this. God is in control like I told you. Alright? By the way, you're gonna like this to you. It has some kind of uh, hot chill in it. Mm -hmm. Let me help you. Oh, you're my darling. Come here. Just chill, okay? Doctor, what is wrong with him? Well, according to the test results, he has kidney failure. And will require a kidney transplant immediately. Um. I'm sorry, Doctor. Did you, did, you, did you just say kidney failure? Yes. How come? How come? How come? Hello. Please, I'd like to take my lady. my kidney. What if he, what if he doesn't love me the way I love him? I just need to give, give, give Chris my kidney. No, I won't. I can't. Lucia, you, I thought you claimed to love this guy. Of course. But you don't expect him to die. I cannot die because I'm saving somebody's life. I can't. This is strange, oh. You know the same guy you come and say, oh, I love this guy. I cannot, I, I cannot let anything, anybody take this guy from me, blah, blah, blah. And now you want to bail out on him? I, I, I know, I know. But all I'm saying is that I am not in any way called Juliet. Neither is he Romeo. Babes, ah, what if, see, when I was growing up, they told me not to even do any donation at all. Even blood donation, I should not do it. It's not good for me. I can't do this thing. Like, I can't. I can't donate it. I can't. Mm. But you have two kidneys. You're giving out just one. Babe, you're my best friend. You can simply give him one of your kidneys. Oh, really? He is not my boyfriend. If, if, if love is blind, honestly, this is an eye-opener. I can't. I can't. Come on, be reasonable here. I want to. Uh, I, uh, I don't even know if the other one is strong enough to carry me. Are you expecting me to give him? Yes, I love him. I love him very much, and I'm not happy about this thing that is just happening around him. Honestly, if I wish I could, I would have, but I can't. I can't. It's risky for my my life. You're not going to die, Lucia. So stop. I'm not Juliet though. I can never be Juliet in, in, in this history. Maybe my next life. I can't die. What if the other kidney is not strong enough to carry me? This is ridiculous. Okay, just stop, okay? Stop. Nobody's going to die here. I can't believe this is happening to Chris. Honestly, it's a pity. Chris has no family and he's all alone. No. He has me. I will never leave him alone. I have made up my mind to donate my kidney for him. Are you, are you, are you sure? Is that what you really want? Yes, Anita. Chris is the realest guy I have ever met, aside from my late husband. And I'm very sure if he was to be in my shoes, he would do the same. He is part of me. Psychologically, I still insist you think about it. Nothing to think about. My mind is made up. All I need is your encouragement and prayers. What are friends for? I'll pray for you. Just hang in there. Everything will be fine. Okay? Thank you. 
goodness. I would like to donate my kidney. For Chris? Yes, Dr. <laughs> I hope you're not making a hasty decision. Kidney transplant is not something you just... I have made up my mind. Let's run the compatibility text and fix the date for the transplant. Alright then, I'll prepare everything necessary. As the transplant will be done abroad. Thank you, Doctor. You're welcome. Anita, please take care of my daughter while I'm away. She's all I've got. I'm so proud of you. Chris is a nice boy. Desmond loved him like a brother. Anita here, you're he well taken care of. <laughs> so don't worry. Alright, I'll go see the doctor. Your love is so sweet. You Hello, doctor. are the one that I want. My okay. dream come true. Okay, see you My soon. Love, real Bye. Love. What's up? Love oh, doctor. Is true. She said I should come immediately. Mm -hmm. That means I have to go with you. Oh, no. No, no, no. Please, help me take love care of my daughter for me. Don't worry, she be fine. Okay. I love you. Don't stay too long. Cry, darling. I won't. Give me a break. <laughs> okay, let me get my bag. Okay. to donate my kidney and please do not discourage me I thought that was why you called me to come the nurse that recorded the report presenting someone else's medical report instead of Chris Chris does not have a kidney failure oh yes doctor what did you just say he does not have a kidney failure so I'm sorry so what happened? Um, due to Why did he collapse? Stress. Yes, he was just over stress. Stress? Yes. I am sorry for him. Don't worry, it's okay. It's okay. This is good news. I have to call Chris to give him this good news. Fine, darling. How do you mean I don't look happy? What have you been up to? Huh? Tell me, what have you been up to? Hmm? Come this way. What have you been up to? How do you mean I don't look happy? Don't I look happy? Yes. I don't look happy? Yes. How do happy people look? 
<laughs> Alright, sit down. Yeah. There you go. Hi, Hi Debbie. Hi. Um I completely apologize for the other day. I I had no idea she was coming around. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's okay. I understand. She's your girlfriend and she has every right to fight for her man. Girlfriend indeed. <laughs> no, she's not my girlfriend. I mean, she's not even my level. Yes. See, that girl abandoned me. Okay, let's look at it this way. What if I was truly sick? Is that the way to treat a boyfriend? That girl sped off immediately she heard I needed a donor. You know, sometimes I just think fate has its way of making things right. I mean, <laughs> okay, I, I don't want to start telling you. Please, mm -hmm. please, will you marry my mommy? Marry your mom? Yes. Chelsea, did she ask you to tell me that? No, if you do that for me, I'll be the appearance girl and I'll spend more time with you. Okay, Chelsea, your mom is there. Alright, go meet your mom. Good afternoon. You're welcome. Did you bring anything for Grandma? Nothing. Nothing. I can't believe this. Eh? Grandma. Yes, darling. Please, will you allow Uncle Chris to marry my mommy? You are the one that I want. My dream come true. My love, real love. What we'll feel is true. I love you. My love, real love. What we share is true. Hi, baby. Hi. For some time now, I've been trying to ask you a very important question. Will you marry me? Your love is the best. You meant the world. Yes, I will. Your love is the best. You are all Congratulations. Please. Come. 